Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on this eventful occasion, when the agreement between the Republic of Indonesia and the Kingdom of the Netherlands in regard to the future of West New Guinea, or West Irian, is about to be signed, I would like, first of all, to congratulate the two governments on their willingness to settle this question by peaceful negotiation, and also on their spirit of give and take, which has made possible the conclusion of this agreement. I am sure I am right in saying that, as a result, there will be not only an easing of tension in the area, but also an increased feeling of mutual trust and confidence between the two governments. There are several unique features about this agreement. One is that if the General Assembly endorses it, the United Nations would have temporary executive authority established by and under the jurisdiction of the Secretary General over a vast territory for the first time in its history. I hope that my task will be facilitated by the scrupulous adherence on the part of both governments to the letter and spirit of this agreement. Without it, my task would become immensely difficult, and I honestly appeal to both governments to make their cooperation available to me in the fullest measure. Before closing, I would like to congratulate once again the representatives of the two governments on the imminent signature of this historic agreement, which, in line with the principles of the Charter, has settled peacefully a long-standing problem with benefit to all concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, for the Indonesian people, this very moment is regarded as a very important national occasion since, with the signing of the agreement, which will take place within a few minutes, the Indonesian unity has been restored, and therefore, the basis for the struggle for independence completed as part and parcel of the Indonesian Revolution. It is therefore that we are most gratified, Mr. Secretary General, that you took the initiative as early as in December for both parties to come together in order to solve this problem in a peaceful way. It was your guidance during the negotiations, based upon sincerity, wisdom and experience, that made us pass with success through all the intricacies of a negotiated settlement. For that, the Indonesian government and people will be very grateful to you. Mr. Secretary General, I want also to take to make use of this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Van Rooyen, Dr. Spurman, and all the members of the Netherlands delegation for the success of this agreement. And on behalf of my colleagues and myself, I want to express our deep appreciation for the consistent sincerity with which they have approached the problems we are dealing with. And last but not least, Mr. Secretary General, our deepest appreciation to your devoted colleagues for their unfailing assistance without which the success could not have been achieved. The success of this agreement, which is also the success of the United Nations, I hope, will lead to further achievements in solving problems with which the United Nations has been engaged. Now that this agreement will be signed, now that also the Indonesian unity is reaching its completion, I sincerely hope that the traditional friendship between Indonesia and the Netherlands could be restored. Thank you. During the long and sometimes difficult negotiations which have preceded the reaching of a meeting of minds between our two governments, the Netherlands delegation has constantly been deeply conscious of the importance of the issues involved. Nothing, however, has weighed more heavily with us than the consideration that the outcome of our efforts would directly affect the fate 
of the 700,000 Papuans inhabiting West New Guinea. The Netherlands government has been and is most deeply concerned with the well-being of the Papuans. It is for that reason that the Netherlands has attached primary importance to the inclusion in the agreement of provisions safeguarding the future political, economic, cultural and educational development of the territory and its inhabitants and guaranteeing for the Papuans under active supervision of the United Nations a genuine and valid exercise of freedom of choice with regard to their future. It has proved difficult and perhaps Mr. Secretary General I should even say at times more than difficult to bring the Netherlands and Indonesian delegates together. But once we were gathered around the conference table, we found that the Indonesian delegation and ourselves were equally committed in all sincerity to arrive at a peaceful solution of our dispute. Mr. Secretary General, we have now worked out a detailed settlement on paper. The judgment of history on what we have accomplished will ultimately depend on the manner in which the provisions of our agreement are carried out in practice. The whole world has been closely watching us, and it will continue to do so. The foundations have now been laid, we hope, for a better understanding and ultimately a happier and fruitful relationship between our two countries and our two peoples. For the possibility of achieving the realization of this hope, the touchstone will be our mutual good faith and our consistent efforts in fulfilling the terms of the agreement. Thank you, thank you very much. I would now request the representatives of the two governments to be good enough to append their signatures to the